Now, when you have a 3D mesh, you want to look at what the mesh is doing in the interior, particularly in this model, you know, around um, these surfaces. And so um, ANSYS provides uh, handy capability to do that. It's called section planes. So let's take a look at the interior of the mesh using section planes. So I will, you know, look at the model along Z and then I will select new section plane and then I will draw a line that is nearly aligned with the y-axis and you can see ANSYS chop the model uh, right over there I, you know it uses a plane um, and then I can you know take a look at what the interior looks like so let me manipulate the model using the middle mouse button and by default it doesn't show the whole elements it shows part of an element when it's cutting through an element so I like to look at whole elements and it's usually less confusing and so you can take a look and then you can also you know move the section plane um, interactively so I'll highlight the section plane and I'll say edit section plane and now I get this red box which I can move um, and you know it will move the plane that's cutting through the model and I can go in and take a look particularly near the hole. So if I come here and I zoom in using the right mouse button, for instance, you know, that those set of elements might be elements of concern. Um, that so I, I need to look at what the stress distribution is and you know refine around there. And so let me go back to my previous view. And then I can also, by clicking on this side of the red square, I can look at the other part of the model, okay? And I can also look at a single layer of elements by deselecting both parts. Um, so you look at a single layer of elements. And so these are some very handy tools to look at the, um, the interior of the mesh. And for now, let's keep the section plain, but deselect it. So that brings back the entire model, but I can enable the section plane at any time. And let me <coughs> get, you know, choose fit to view and save project.